So my research area is in wireless communication and signal processing, um, in particular fiber optic communication. And in the last 10 years or so, I've been collaborating with Professor Chris Twan of the Civil Engineering Department on conductive concrete. I contribute to the electrical side of this problem, and he's a civil engineer. He contributes to how to make concrete. So together, we figure out how to drive electron into the concrete. I've spent uh, most of my time at UNL doing uh, research and development work for conductive concrete. Uh, basically, it's a Regular concrete mix design with uh, electrically conductive materials mixed into it to enable uh, conduction of uh, electricity. And there are numerous uh, applications. And I've been doing uh, de-icing during winter uh, for the pavement, sidewalks, things like that. And here is a, a new application which we use a high heat generated by conductive concrete is used to kill the pathogens in the cow manure while maintaining the nutrients. The other application is electromagnetic shielding. The way normally electromagnetic shielding works is that you would have a metallic cage, a Faraday cage we call it, to shield the electromagnetic wave. With the conductive concrete, uh, we're able to build the same structure but with concrete. It's attractive because once you build a building, you're done. The other, with the other technique, you build a building and then you have to build a metallic structure inside to perform the shielding. So there's a lot of advantage in terms of construction costs and operation. For this uh, cow manure uh, high heat treatment using the electrically conductive concrete uh, has a far reaching impact. And it's not just beneficial to Nebraska. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, to any states in the farm belt. I'm very excited to, to show uh, the results in the near future to the uh, potential users. Recently, there's an awareness that, okay, the electric grid may be vulnerable to an EMP attack. So utilities around the country is, very, uh, is paying a lot of attention about this problem. So with this technology, we provide an, an attractive alternative to the conventional Faraday case technique. And so the fact that we're able to provide a technology for shielding is very attractive to that community. New type people are fantastic people. And they even helped me uh, to get project internationally. And we did a, a de-icing project in uh, Bulgaria. We couldn't do these things without the students. So obviously the students play a big role in what we do. And we have the basic idea, but it's the student that asks, we make it happen. And then the research sponsors, from the university and also our um, commercial partner and the, uh, the DOD that provide the seed funding for this project. 